in the list of the most hated professions in the United States, well, I'm guessing that tax collector is still up there. Number one, banker, hello. A close second, real estate broker. That's my estimate. But in this story, the broker is the hero. Trust me. Good morning, everyone. That was shameless. It's Wednesday, March 25th. Coming up this hour... Sam, baby Sophia and Silvana Jordan listen to The Takeaway every morning in New Jersey. They thought we should tell our audience about a man who saved them and a lot of other people from financial disaster. Sam, hello. Hey, good morning. Femi OK from The Takeaway. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You sent us an email. I did. I hope it's a good story. I invite you in. Come All on. All right. Thank you. So I, I, I come running out of your radio mm -hmm. to hang out for you. Um, and the reason for this was your broker. And the reason that you wanted us to, to tell his story was because he was a little bit special. Mm -hmm. In a nutshell, what makes him special? He is an honest person. Um, and honest to the point of um, telling us no when we needed to be told no. Um, with all the craziness that was happening back in 2006, we probably could have gotten somebody who would tell us yes all the time and would have whisked us out the door and whisked us into a new house and then and left us there with whatever mess we, we'd gotten. Yeah, there were a couple of places that we looked at that we really liked um, and we presented the numbers to him and he said no. I mean, he said, you know, you really should not, that's too much. Um, and it was a little bit disappointing. It was like, it was almost like uh, talking to a parent where you're <laughs> trying to push a little bit and he really came back and, 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 and held firm on, um, on his belief. I think we are living somewhat as if the crisis were not happening. The man who's helped the Jordans to sleep at night is real estate broker and mortgage lender, Beru Shahidi. What is it that you do that makes you so different from other people in the business? I always put myself in the client's position, always. If I see you, then you become my responsibility. I got a call one day, uh, this lovely husband and wife from Israel. When I met them, I treated them as if they were my children. And at one point the lady said, I am going to adopt you as my father. I said, God bless you. <laughs> Good, <laughs> let's do it. So if there was an idea or a thought that you wanted us to go away with from this whole experience of what happened to the market and how people are reacting now. What would, what would be our takeaway? My advice to people is just relax. See what's in it for you in a positive way. Because it's very easy to get depressed and cry and say, oh, I lost my job. Look at this office. At one point, this used to be so busy, you couldn't even hear yourself think. But look. Nobody's here, I like it. <laughs> I can't think. Wow, this man could find a silver lining in a Category 5 hurricane. Spending a morning with Beirut was a bit like going to a spiritual seminar. Just listening to you speak, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm in the presence of the Buddha of brokering. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Beru Shahidi, the broker who's laughing himself out of a recession. I'm Femi Okay for The Takeaway. <laughs>